Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about Pico Pico. Hi guys, I'm Lisa Larson, animal communicator and ordained alakai in the Huna tradition. Huna is a Hawaiian philosophy, it's not a religion, it's a philosophy that incorporates shamanic techniques to help heal. And there's one specific technique that we're going to be talking about today. It's called Pico Pico, P-I-K-O. And it means center to center in Hawaiian. And this is just going to be a short video, but a lot of my clients ask to have me do it because there's a lot of clients that I give this to when I talk to their animals. So what Pico Pico is, is it's just a short little focusing technique. It means center to center in Hawaiian. And the basis of it is that energy flows where attention goes. So any two points that you put energy on, attention's going to flow. So in other words, if you hold your hands out like this and you focus on your right hand and then your left hand and then right and then left and then right and then left, you will start to feel the energy flowing through those two places. Energy flows where attention goes. So that's the basics of how this works. And what it does is it's just a very short technique that can calm you, center you, I'll use it a lot of times when I'm in the grocery store and there's just all of a sudden too many people or whatever and I just need to to calm it down or I use it to start my meditations. You don't have to use it for meditation, but I start my meditations this way. And it's not a breathing technique, but I do sometimes use breath to just to time it. So this is what Pico Pico is. And you guys can do it with me. When you breathe in, Focus on the top of your head. When you breathe out, focus on your navel. Breathe in, focus on the top of your head. Breathe out, focus on your navel. And one more time, breathe in, focus on the top of your head. Breathe out and focus on your navel. And if you did that with me, you should just be feeling a little bit more centered, a little bit more relaxed, and you can use this at any time. I give this a lot of times to animals who have trouble going out on walks or something. I'll give it to them and I'll give it to the people and so that they everybody can calm down before the walks or something like that or high anxiety cases. But one of the things that you can do if you use it with your animal is is this you can do it on yourself first just as we just did it and then do it on your animal they can be lying wherever maybe you lie down next to them and then in, in a night you put put yourself in that calm space and then you focus on he their head their belly their head their belly their head their belly and you would be amazed at how much that, how calm you can make your animals when you do this if you really focus on it and it doesn't take long i give this a lot where where people are trying to have a better relationship with their animals so i have them do that like every day at the same time so it'll be something that that animal and that person have to look forward to now there is one more step that you can take if that's the case if you're trying to become closer to an animal you can do it on yourself first, then do it on the animal, and then do it on your heart chakra, their heart chakra, your heart chakra, their heart chakra. Now I'm using the word chakra. It's not really a Huna thing, but I think people understand it. Your heart center and their heart center and start that flow in between going back and forth and if it's something that you know like i say you're trying to develop a relationship with an animal start to do this every day at the same time so it becomes routine animals love routine um if if an animal like i say uh, there's one dog i work with who has anxiety getting into the car so she does the pico pico with her dog before they get into the car 
anxiety issues, anything like that. So you can use it for yourself, you can use it for your animal, but remember it just, it, it is based on that energy flows where attention goes. So you can feel it in doing that little exercise with, with your hands, you can do it when in feeling the exercise and doing it with your head to your belly, which are the two center points of our body. And it doesn't take long. Like I say, I start my meditations that way, but you don't have to get into any big meditative state or anything. It's just that simple. It doesn't take long and you'll be amazed with results. So I just wanted to make a short video for you guys. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button and subscribe that would really help me out and if you would like to be notified of future videos go ahead and hit that bell and uh, i will look forward to seeing you again soon take care bye bye